Well, we have a 20-year-old in Zaire who went through it a few years before Zaire of jumping mm -hmm. on social media oh. and all the, 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 the negativity that comes with social Careful media. Careful avoid using and he so or she we went through it once and we saw how it affected him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so once we got to Zaire, which is a whole different sure. conversation that's going on in the world, and, a, and a, it's, it's way uglier. You know, Zaire's conversation was about sports. Zaire's is about what a lot of people don't even really understand and get. Mm -hmm. And so Nobody we sat down with Zaire about being on social media, um, her, my wife and I, and uh -huh. we just talked about we want to make sure that if she's going to be on social media, she's going to show people some of her life, it's going to be the people that she wants mm. to wow. that's in her circle. Right? Everybody on the outside, that noise on the outside really don't matter. Mm -hmm. What matters is the voices that you allow in your circle. Mm -hmm. And so that's the people that we wanted to follow her journey and follow her life. And so um, that's what we did. And we left the, the hate out of it. It's enough of that in the world. She mm -hmm. gets enough of it. We didn't wanted to be you know under her comments so she can read it and yeah. we know how we know what we are in this world you know mental health is a very you know and this is an important topic in this world it's very important for us as parents to protect the health of our kids both physically and mentally and so we wanted to do is that right <laughs> i'd like to go first here eric if i may um oh i don't your... like being on this side yeah, there we go <laughs> you can only make moves from the other side um the guise of mental health that is being used here, even though I admit very willingly that Dwayne Wade's child probably has some issues, clearly, but under the guise of protecting one's mental health, he is using the very progressive definition of if you are disagreeing with me or if you have a problem with my life, then therefore you are affecting my mental health. You cannot criticize me. So what has he done? He's turned off all criticism for his child who was born a boy. And as you can see, it's very athletic <laughs> um, as he's the son of probably an NBA Hall of Famer who's got two rings, maybe three, I think. Mm -hmm. And they're using this as a shield to say, you know, our older son had to go through with athletics. Didn't did they turn off his comments? I don't know. I think a kid who's an athlete who's going to be booed and had things yelled at him in the stands in college and people throw things at him if he goes to the NBA. And maybe fans try to fight him if he goes to the NBA. That he should be maybe able to his handle teammates try to media. fight him. <laughs> maybe. And then you have another child who's, you know, we say not literally he sacrificed his child in the spotlight. Nobody was asking. Dwayne Wade was not hosting any shows. He was not on, you know, he, of course he was on sometimes, but he's not on, you know, NBA on TNT. He's not a big uh, broadcasting name after like, obviously he was a good player. Nobody's going to doubt that. Couldn't win without help from Shaq or LeBron. Well, that's a different story, but nobody was saying like, Hey, I really want to hear what, uh, Dwayne Wade says, like they want to hear what Tracy McGrady says, like they want to hear what Scotty Pippen and Shaq and all these guys say. Nobody was clamoring for that. Nobody said, let's get him on like they did for J.J. Reddick. J.J. Reddick's the guy that people really wanted on. Huge podcast now. Dwayne Wade, in a way, we feel, sort of sacrificed his privacy and his child's privacy and his child's mental state for this. Because what happens as soon as your child comes out as trans, he's on snapchat stories he's got his own show with his family he's on shows like good morning america when was the last time a retired nba player was on talking about anything other than sports on good morning america or good day today whatever the hell it's called the answer is very rarely i can't think of any off the top of my head so to use this guys now is i've launched us into the spotlight i've launched my kid in the spotlight by publicizing their gender problems but now you can't criticize it. The comments have to be off. And I get it's a kid, but it's also a kid who's lived probably their whole life on the internet more than you or I ever did growing up in a different way. But we were forced to, you know, grow up with the internet in the sense that you have to evolve with it. Now we're in our, who knows how old we are. We're so young. <laughs> um, and you have to be able to expect it. People tell me every single day on Twitter that I'm an idiot and I don't know what I'm talking about. And that because I work for certain places that I'm a piece of shit, like this happens every single day and nobody cries about it more than journalists. They cry about people being mean to them online. Teenagers who have to deal with other teenagers insulting them every single day online are probably way more prepared for this world than millennial journalists who cry every single time somebody says something mean to them. So to then go as far as you need to protect your child from Instagram comments, no, you can't just, it's just a form, like it's obviously not censorship, but it's a form of censorship in the sense that you are making it so you don't have to hear any of the noise. 
and you don't have to look at it, but you should teach your child to say, hey, you can ignore that stuff or you can read it and then put it down or you can turn your screen off. The, you know, plugging your ears is not the correct way to go. I don't think, Eric. Well, <clears throat> it's it's all part of creating the the facade, right? It's all part of maintaining the false reality, right? So if you're pretending that your son is your daughter, that's completely fake. So there's, I mean, people, bro, Dwayne Wade is an NBA champion. Never once in his career did he, did he think, hmm, I could probably switch LeBron for a woman and it would be just the same. Like, he knows the difference between a man and a woman. He knows that's his son. But in order to maintain this false reality, you got to get rid of the comments because people are going to, I mean, look, Granted, there's going to be a lot of mean stuff out there. We all know that. I I do not care for Dwayne Wade. I, I It makes me want to go leave a mean comment on his Instagram right now. But um, that's the only way that you can maintain this entire thing. And um, I don't think that um, you gave Gabrielle, Gabrielle, whatever, Gabby Union, enough credit for this monstrosity. Because she, I think, has a, a huge role in this as well. That's not even her kid. She came in after. Mm. She is this, you know, despicable Hollywood shill who has been in the news for other things when she was on, um, I think it was America's Got Talent or something. And she decided that she was going to wear braids. And one of the producers said, hey, um, maybe that's not the hairstyle for tonight. And she, of course, she called it racist. So this woman has a history of doing terrible things. Um, and... Yeah, she w I think she played a huge role in I guess castrating Dwayne himself. Like who what what who goes through with this? Who who I mean, how do you how do you get to the point where you're you're creating the false reality and you're trying to maintain it on Instagram by delete by removing comments from your child's Instagram. I mean, you don't get there without like without help from somebody else, I believe. And I think du um and uh, don't get me wrong, Dwayne Wade is is he's despicable as well but i think she's got like <laughs> weird she's got this like sort of chris jenner like manipulative like you know puppeteer thing that she's doing that's just my own tinfoil hat theory and um yeah this is you know because she probably wanted she needed a little bit more of the of the limelight too because like you said that nobody was Nobody cares what Dwayne Wade says. He's not. He's not Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley's hilarious, as silly as he might be. It's pretty funny every time he comes on on the TV. Mm -hmm. Dwayne Wade doesn't have that personality. Gabrielle Union doesn't really have that personality either. So this is a way for them to kind of like an accessory, is sort of like um, you know, a, a stepping stone to like this. This is our way back into the mainstream media. This is our way to get some yeah. eyeballs on the family. And if you recall, last thing here, uh, there was. A pretty deep cut. I don't know how much airplay it got, but at one point they did a a commercial for the juice, for the Rona juice, and it was like the little kid or whatever, Zaire, Z whatever his name is, her, them name is, it was like <laughs> the kid was like calling the shots. It was very like in this weird, I guess, like oh, my parents are always running behind. Like, I'm going to get us to this vaccine appointment on time. Like, let's go, guy. It was it was just, I, I hate to use the cringe has become cringe, but there's no better word to describe that, um, that ad. And I think this is all tied in together. They can shill pharmaceuticals. They can push this demonic transformer thing and... And we'll and we we'll, and we will continue to talk about it as as well as the uh, mainstream media will let them get get a little airtime. I don't know. I don't even know if they have something to promote. Is there like a book or is there like a business or something that they actually are trying to make money off of, or is it just parading the kid around for the fact? Well, the they've got a show now. Okay, so that was okay, and now Dwayne Wade's on all these. You know, he's been accepted into the leftism uh, dogma um, by this sacrifice that he's made. And it sounds but think harsh, about it. but how does he not, how do I not even know that the show is there? All I know is about the kid and you didn't even do a good, maybe I didn't, I'm not deep enough in, but you didn't do enough, a good enough job even promoting the show, which is what the whole point should have been about. Well, I don't, yeah, exactly. That's not the point. That is the point is to say, Hey, this is a prominent black man who's an athlete. who's a strong male and his son who. Of course, any athlete's child has the potential through access and athletic God-given ability to become that as well. <clears throat> but this is an example of even these people are doing it. So get on board.